Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video. Now here we are finally with the December 2020 sales review. Now I know that the title of the video is 2020 or December 2020 sales review, but really I just wanted to look over almost everything that has happened in the year 2020, um, just from a sales, strictly sales perspective. So not like experiences and learning or whatever stuff like that that's for a separate video right now i just want to talk about um profits money expenditure and just numbers so here we have brick freedom pulled up and um this shows you a lot of things this is my current law count is about two thousand um current item count is twenty nine thousand so you might notice that that's significantly lower than what it is usually i have taken out a lot of parts roughly eight thousand nine thousand parts just uh i've just taken out um that's gonna be as my personal and we're down around five thousand eight hundred i think around black friday time we were at seven thousand so i have taken out and sold quite a bit so in december 2020 i made a total of 57 sales and that's correct i think that might be a uh a record number when it comes to bricklink i think the highest i ever got was um 37 um, obviously this 57 is a combination of Bricklink and Brickal, So that's one of the reasons it's so high total items sold. This is obviously, this is, these numbers are Bricklink and Brickal combined is 3,185 average sale comes out to about 1450 sales per day 1.8 largest quantity item 40 so that was i thought that was really interesting because in the past i've had orders in which you have like 100 or 200 of a quant of a single item the largest quantity item was only 40 so to me i don't know it's not really great or terrible it's just interesting fact um the highest valued item was 7309 that was the pose x-wing uh, a used set, one of the only sets I actually have in my store. And then we have total shipping, which came out to about 194, and then total sales income about 829. So if we took a look, if we take a look at the total sales split by store, we have 32 on Brooklink and 25 on Brickall. Perfect. It's just how I like it, nice and split. The interesting thing, however, is that Bricklink always seems to take a lot more of the money. So 600 on Bricklink and only about 200 on Brickall. So I feel like that's interesting, in spite of the fact that the order number is about the same. Brick owl orders tend to be much smaller. Um, if we take a look at the category breakdown, about 3,000 items were parts, one set, 85 minifigures, and then 40 packaging. That was just a single order in which someone purchased, I think, 40 oh, CMF bags. Sorry about that. Item condition breakdown. This is actually quite interesting because usually this orange tends to be much bigger. It's almost always new. But I did have that one 50% off sale, and that led to literally hundreds and hundreds of lots and parts that were used being sold. So I'm very, very glad so much sold. Color breakdown. I think this might actually be the first time ever in which... I've sold more light bluish gray pieces than black pieces. Um, otherwise, we usually have the same sort of colors. Light bluish gray, black, dark bluish gray, white. Then some random ones, depending on your inventory. Uh, here, I got a lot of reddish brown, medium blue, blue, stuff like that. So it's kind of all over the place. Um, I thought that was interesting. I guess we can also take a quick look at 2020 uh, as a whole. So the average sale came out to about $22. Sales per day, about 0.7. Largest quantity item, 3,154. I sold the coral um, quarter tiles. I'll just show it to you because I know you might be confused otherwise. Um, I remember I got these at the pickup brick wall. And I think, I mean, I, I did make some money on them because uh, there were so many. But I feel like it wasn't really worth what I sold. Yeah, these are the ones I'm talking about. Um, these are like literally half half a cent that's so cheap wow i think i might i don't know it feels strange to buy them back because wow that's so cheap um they are a cool piece i just don't know what you do with them in so much bulk i i held on to a couple but anyways i'm getting distracted now average sale was about 22 dollars. very good i feel like that's skewed because these were a couple of high valued items um i did try my hand at selling some sets it didn't work out so those were all canceled so it's sort of an incorrect va uh, value total sales income it's showing you 5521 in reality it's a bit closer to 4800 because of some of these high value sets that were canceled i can't believe i spent that much on shipping that's crazy to think one thousand dollars total items sold twenty one thousand wow that is a lot of stuff i moved twenty one thousand parts out of my store so that's crazy to think um total sales about 251 also pretty crazy 
Um, 199 Bricklink orders, so close to 200, and then 52 Brick Owl orders. Uh, here we have total items sold by store, most obviously Bricklink, and then just a tiny bit from Brick Owl. Um, item category breakdown, obviously a ton of parts, 16,000. 63 sets. I, I wonder, wow, 63 sets. How did I sell 63 sets? Huh. Maybe, uh, oh, okay, okay. I sold a lot of the CMFs and those kind of sets, I think. So that's probably it. Um, 177 minifigures, uh, some packaging and instructions. Cool. Um, yep, <laughs> 14,000 new, 1,537. So I wonder, out of the 1,537, how much was just sold in December? Um, wow, so 12, 1,200 out of 1,500. So that's kind of crazy. So much was sold in December. Um, uh, obviously, Quantity breakdown, coral, because of that one huge order. Other than that, obviously black, because that's an extremely popular uh, color in my store, especially. Um, so let's take a look at Bricklink uh, 2020. So we had a total of 32 orders this year, or uh, in December, four hundred eighty seven uh, $457. Average order value on Bricklink was fourteen thirty. dollars Lots sold, 860 Average loss per order, 26.9. Items sold, 2787 uh Average items per order, 87, and monthly spending was zero. I think it's very important for me to talk about monthly spending and profit right now up front because you probably see that as a, as a net profit uh, at the end of the year is negative. So let's discuss that. A, throughout the year, I spent $3,518 on Lego. Now, that's absolutely crazy. And to be honest, that's not even everything I've spent on Lego. That's just everything I spent on the store. Now, I know this is not 100% accurate, and I do want to go through this again and try and create an accurate or more accurate uh, monthly spending sheet. But to my knowledge, this is Acro Mills containers, this is weighing scales, this is packaging materials, this is Ziploc bags or zipper bags, this is the impulse sealer, this is the parts I used to part out. These are pretty much everything that goes into the store. Obviously, I don't put in shipping here because that's something else altogether, but this is just the stuff I spent on the store. Now, I can put in zero, and there have actually been three months in the year where I just spent zero. And there have been months like this, like September, in which I literally spent eight hundred thirteen dollars now i gotta be honest i haven't been operating like a business i've been operating like someone that loves lego and just bought a lot of things um a business would not be successful if it is in losses and hundred dollars of losses i mean i know it's not anything crazy but it's not good either right um i guess one upside that you can look at is the fact that i do have over five thousand dollars of an inventory now that is based on the six month sales average so that doesn't mean i have five thousand dollars left that means that i could possibly at the maximum sell it at five thousand so i don't plan on spending too much more at the store because i don't want to even this out it's not a that's not a fun number to look at and there have been months like the december and november where i did make money um obviously that, that's only in reference to that specific right i didn't spend money but that's because i already had so much um in general if we take a look at this month december it's been pretty good uh if we look at average lots per order 27 roughly is really good i think that actually might be the highest we've ever done um if we look at lots per uh lot sold that's also the highest ever obviously may is next because may was an amazing month um average items per order 87 nowhere close this this is really quite a skewed month because may is when the huge coral 3000 piece order was placed so that obviously skews it a bit um then let's take a look i made some charts or graphs just to get a quick visual uh look monthly sales obviously uh this is obviously just the um how much money right not the number of sales that was the highest in may average order value i'm so glad was up in september that's because i started selling some sets so average order was much higher if we look at orders by number highest in may now i'm in, it's sort of strange that it's not updating edit oh okay i see i see so i need to i need to change that is there any way i can do that quickly there we go yeah because i just realized that it's not showing all the way um it's not all the way updated so let me just do that real quick i apologize i didn't do that beforehand but oh is that oh no <laughs> okay i want to make sure okay so this finally january through let me check okay so that's all 12 months this now has just been shifted over so i need to get it so that 
Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna do that for all of these real quick. Um, so yeah, you can you can get a pretty pretty interesting look at how this this year in total has been. Um, it it certainly has been quite interesting to <laughs> look at how everything has has gone through. I'm glad that now I have this detailed look at everything. Um, I think it's very important as a business to keep good track of your income, your expenses, all stuff like that. Profit, oh my, that is something crazy. Uh, what else do we have? We have the items sold, so I need to edit that. Items sold, and let's take a look at that now. So yeah, wow, lots sold. You can see another spike up here. Items sold, it's not actually anything crazy. Um, average loss per order that needs to be edited. 27 looks like another high month look at that so i'm very glad that we ended the year up on on a uh on a high high point because it was a it was a crazy year right i mean it's it's difficult to look at these sales and everything in a vacuum because this year had a lot of unprecedented things right in january and february i just started i had extremely cheap prices in march april well not really march more april may june there was a huge jump in the amount of people buying Lego. And that was really because a lot of people were home because of the pandemic. Um, people are still home and that hasn't changed. And really, it's hard to gauge what will do well and what won't do well. Um, I, I hope this video isn't getting too boring. I don't want to ramble on too much longer. If you do have any questions, please feel free to write in the comments. I would love to uh, discuss. Maybe there's something I left out or maybe something I misread. Um, I do have to say again, it's been a very interesting year. Thank you guys for supporting me through this journey. And we are approaching the one year on YouTube very quickly. So I will be creating a video for that. And I hope to talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day, guys.